As if the political world needed them, there are three more dumb headlines breaking at this hour. Senator Joseph Lieberman is personally vouching for Senator John McCain's bearings. 178 Republican members of Congress have voted against honoring mothers on Mother's Day. And the legend of political satire, Mort Saul, was among several friends of the Bush family not invited to the Jenna Bush wedding. In our number one story, Mort Saul will be here to help make sense of it all, if possible. First, the facts. Well, the stuff that happened. I don't know how much fact there actually is in here. John McCain tried to link Barack Obama to Hamas. Obama retorted that his, this showed McCain was losing his bearings. McCain's campaign immediately pretended this was a remark about age. And then, as only he could, Senator Lieberman turned up the creepy factor, personally vouching for Senator McCain's bearings. I just want to report that this morning I personally checked John McCain's bearings. <laughs> he has not lost any of them. They're all really in great shape. And that's why I asked Harry Reid that question. Now the only man who could possibly follow that act, the pioneering and still unstoppable Mort Saul, performing tomorrow night at B.B. King's Blues Club in New York. What an honor it is to have you. Thanks, here. Keith. A pleasure. You know, I wanted uh, I can I open with a quote? Please. Mark Russell. Yes. Said to me, I said, how much of a Republican has Lieberman become? And he said, I asked him, uh, Senator, do you accept uh, Republican contributions, and he said, only 30 pieces of silver at that time. <laughs> All right, well now, we, how, are your, how are your bearings, and, and would you like Senator Lieberman to check them for you? Well, this is based, you said, on, on, uh, on uh, uh, McCain saying that Obama is Hamas's... Well, is, is Hamas's choice for president. How about Jimmy Carter? Wasn't he first? Yeah, sir, there you go. He's not, he can't run again, I guess, or does, doesn't choose to. It, but it's 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 remarkable that you that you would come out and everything becomes ageism or racism or or genderism or sexism. There's nothing there's nothing like a good old political fight anymore. Uh, not on this network. <laughs> uh, yeah. By the way, uh, you know, uh, I meant, I wanted to mention it's kind of a coincidence. The last time I did the O'Reilly show, oh yeah, he told me about evangelism and how much he prizes faith. You know, like the bumper sticker that says, thank God for secular humanism. <laughs> so, and he kept saying to me, none of us would be what we are except for the man upstairs, who turned out to be Roger Ailes. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you forget it. Um, the, uh, the, the irony of some of this stuff, um, Sunni and Shia, when McCain could not remember which was which, or chose not to remember which was which, Fox defended him. Britt Hume came on and said... He's having a senior moment. And they use that as defense. And now, if you criticize McCain, well, that's ageism. If you say, well, he's, he's, just bear, he's losing his bearings. What is this? What, is this what the campaign's going to be about? Well, you, uh, well, they started talking too early, as you've pointed out several times on the show. When I've seen you, they're parsing everything because they started so early. Yeah. When I worked for Kennedy, he made three speeches and he was the president. <laughs> you know, uh, by the way, you remember when Reagan used to say, uh, I know what our founding fathers said because I knew many of them yes. intimately. Well, yeah. sure. Well, but why? But it worked for him, didn't it? Yeah. Made to make to make a joke People out of it. People liked them. Yeah. Uh, you know, the McCain thing reminds me of uh, when Hillary campaigned in Florida. She promised all these people health care, uh, all the retirees, and uh, as a wise man once said. If you think health care is expensive now, wait till it's free. <laughs> so then, as the story goes, McCain goes down there, but he's, he's remote as a figure. And these people in the senior center come up and they say to him, Hey, what will you give us? She said she'd give us free care. And he says, uh, Don't you know who I am? And uh, one of the oldsters says, no, but ask the nurse and she'll tell you. <laughs> the joke is back. Oh well. Well, what? All right. You mentioned you mentioned Senator Clinton. What? It's not like Republicans are the only source of material today. Do you can do you know why? Why is Senator Clinton still running? It, it appears that she's trying to elude her debtor, who's herself. But is there another reason why this is still going on? Has it, isn't this over already? Well, it's it's uh, the questions are important. That's the keynote of your show. The questions are more important than the conclusions. It yeah. makes people think. Uh, it's, it's like when somebody says to me, her husband is blowing it for her. He wants her to win, but he's doing everything wrong. And I say, does he? <laughs> She's like the mother saying, we always took care of you. Why do you want to leave home? And America's like the girl taking Barack Obama's arm and saying, but mom, I love him. <laughs> it's Freud. <laughs> May 6th was his birthday, Pete. Yeah, yeah.
All right, uh, this House vote. You, 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 did you did you think at some point when you went into political humor that eventually it would run out? I mean, here the the the, the Republicans, 178 Republicans, voted against a resolution supporting Mother's Day on the weekend before Mother's Day. <laughs> How can how what how what huh? no election nothing to lose <laughs> you know uh, there's nothing to lose there's not the country to lose even oh jeez you know China's first in the line then India yes then us yeah all right and uh, what about presidential weddings they're not what they used to be Bush's daughter's getting married and uh, and it's in Crawford Texas and uh, what. Yeah, he called it the heartland, and somebody, somebody at the New York Times called it the wasteland. One of the correspondents, but you know, um, uh, I met him yeah. at Alexander Haig's house, President Bush, and uh, he uh, he said to me, uh, uh, "Are you prepared to make the sacrifices that are necessary uh, to fight terrorism?" Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd be a wise guy, and I said. Uh, I am, but I kind of fatigued from fighting communism with your father. <laughs> and he said to me, it's a dirty job, I grant you, but that's what you elected me to do. And I said to him, we didn't elect you that much. <laughs> then he decided whether to laugh or not. <laughs> the one and only Mort Saul is at B.B. King's here in New York tomorrow night. It's an honor, sir. Keith, I'm proud to be with you. Oh, my pleasure. That's Countdown for this, the 1,835th day since the Declaration of Mission Accomplished in Iraq. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck.